Hi, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington Sea Touch practitioner for animals and people. And this is the exterior of Paws and Whiskers Dog Bakery and Paw Ticulars in Provincetown, Massachusetts. And this is Tristan. <laughs> he's hiding. We're on the main street. He's a little scared. And he's a corgi. And this is an episode of Conversations with a Corgi live from Provincetown, Massachusetts, which, by the way, was voted, voted one of the top three dog-friendly towns in the United States by Dogster Magazine. And I was one of the people who clued them into that tidbit. So I'm very proud. And it is a dog-friendly town. You can eat lunch with your dogs outside. Every store has a bowl for your dogs to get water. And everybody, there's right now walking by a Cavalier and two Chihuahua mixes. And we have a Cavalier staying where we are named Angel. She is a red and white Belenum colored one. And lo and behold, this morning we also saw a standard Schnauzer who's staying where we are. And that was a black dog named Lucky, like my mom's horse. Although her Schnauzer is not named Lucky. So we are here recovering from the ordeal of getting the bike on the car yesterday. Oh my God, what a trip. It started to fall off on the way here and we had to keep driving. So that was very exciting. But then we did some dancing. Tristan had a romp on the beach. He's a very happy corgi this morning. Although he is not happy about his bike ride in his picnic basket, which I can show you. I don't know if you saw that, but he has a basket from a place in Vermont that makes fabulous baskets for bikes, including this dog number, which is perfect if your dog is 20 pounds, which is Tristan's maximum weight. Um, if he's been a, a little bit chubby, the basket's a little unstable. So it's a good basket for small dogs. Um, and it's from, I think it's uh, Peterborough Basket Company. Anyway, we are here at the Paws and Whiskers Dog Bakery. There it is, Paws and Whiskers backwards. Because this is the origin of those fabulous Cavalier King Charles cups that my sister uses for breakfast with spaniels. And we were going to do the interview in there this morning with the owner of the store, but I kind of surprised her yesterday and she wants some time to research it and check with the artist because she has a couple of really unique things in there. They're making really cute clocks now with different breeds of dogs and their tails wag. Um, they're a far step above those Google Eye cat clocks, but reminiscent, beautiful painted dogs and then the cups, which she hasn't even started to order yet for this season. And she wants to check with the artist and make sure that she can get enough in case millions of people watching this when I put it on Judy's page um, are desperate to find their Cavalier King Charles mugs. And the Corgi mugs, of course, are my favorite. But they come in every breed of dog. And it really is a great thing that we have this wonderful store in town. Um, as the owner told me this morning, the store is all about the dog. They have a few gift items, but mostly they have beautiful baked goods, delicious organic treats. I've bought Tristan a lot of treats here. You can see his little ears down there. He's a little nervous. <laughs> and they have every kind of collar and harness. Um, and some of the more popular things that you can see that have like pillows and blankets with your dog breed on it, bags, purses, that sort of thing. I get a lot of socks here. And this year they have a whole new line of really cute dog bow ties with lobsters. And um, they have some bandanas that have crabs and anchors and seaside themes. So it's a really great place to shop for your dog if you happen to be on the Cape and spending the day in Provincetown. And again, it's paws and whiskers. There was another great dog store in town called Friends of Heart. It was here for a long time, and they had what can only be described as a myriad of tchotchkes with dog and cat things on them. And it was a super, super popular store. I bought lots of things there. Some of my best corgi items came from that store, but the owner was getting older and tired, so she has retired, and the store is gone. And I mean, it was filled floor to ceiling with dog, cat, horse, and rabbit items. Um, even pot-bellied pig things. She really catered to every kind of pet lover in the universe. And I have bought many wonderful things there over the years. And the store is completely empty and whitewashed floor, ceiling, and walls with a, um, a wonderful t-shirt store in there now. So it is sad to see the dog store go, but 
that leaves Paws and Whiskers as the premier dog store in Provincetown. And it really is a wonderful place to go. They are really dog lovers. There's probably six dogs walking around in the store right now and they just opened. And they love every breed of dog. And it is a wonderful place to visit if you come here. And we are, she's working on redoing her website so that she can um, make those mugs available to you. But um, the other option I have is to buy all the Cavalier ones that she has and get them to my sister somehow. And we also might talk about doing something like that because I know people want them. I want them. I love those mugs. They're big. They are comfortable in your hand. The dog pictures are wonderful. They hold a lot of tea or coffee. They keep it warm a long time. I mean, they, they really are a fabulous thing. And I knew that artist years ago, 25 years ago, when um, all the dogs on the cups were laying down because she wasn't very good at um, painting legs, she said. And gradually her art has become so much better and her corgis are short, so they're standing up now. So it is a wonderful store. Um, today we are, ooh, we're gonna be squashed by a car going by. Today we're taking Tristan out for another romp on the beach. We're gonna find his corgi friend, Cody, who lives in town and uh, meet up with her. And he is shaking like a leaf. He's so scared to be here. <laughs> He's usually much more calm in Provincetown, but we had an exciting ride in on the bike. <laughs> so that's all I have to say today. It's uh, sunny at last. It is 57, but it feels like 75 because the sun is out and it's gonna be even a nicer day tomorrow. We're going to a friend's birthday party. Um, and we have um, another friend who is a, a singer who's playing down here is not going to be able to make it because she's sick. So that gives us more time for dancing today and more time for Tristan to play on the beach. There he is, see? It's a nervous little corgi today. What do you have to say about conversations with a corgi? He says, I wanna go in the store and buy a bunch of treats. And that is what we're gonna do next and maybe a lobster collar for him. So, <laughs> he's leaving. Um, so if you happen to make it to Cape Cod in the summer, do come and um, shop at Paws and Whiskers, premier dog boutique on the Cape. And also bring your dog to town. There goes a cute Jack Russell. And enjoy that Provincetown is one of the top three dog destinations according to dogscrew.com. And this morning, there were probably 30 dogs on the beach that we saw who were all having a really nice time running around and playing. And Tristan even had a swim. I can't even imagine how cold that water must be, but he seems to really enjoy it. Here comes a Boston Terrier. Hey, Boston. <laughs> so, oh, look, someone likes Boston Terriers out there. There's tons of them in Provincetown. People in Boston love them. So we will see you again tomorrow. I'm not sure where we will broadcast from tomorrow. Uh, maybe just from the beach, which is closer to my house and does not require a bike ride for Tristan. <laughs> so enjoy your day wherever you are and definitely give your dog a pet. So we will find our music. Maybe that'll, uh, Tristan, he's going up into the shrubbery. <laughs> That's a better place. Look, you can be seen. <laughs> this, this is the busiest intersection in town. <laughs> Do you have a comment, Tristan? <laughs> have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.